Hello, my name is Peter Connor. I'm giving a talk on the construction of doubly periodic minimal surfaces via balance equations for the geometric analysis past, present, and future seminar. And this is joint work with Matthias Weber from Indiana University. So we'll be in this um, talk, I'll be going over some results for which we use the Trezé's regeneration method to prove the existence of new three-dimensional families of embedded doubly periodic minimal surfaces with parallel ends. So these families have an um, interesting property that they limit as a foliation of three-dimensional space by vertical planes. And uh, in the quotient, the limits can be realized conformally as noted Riemann surfaces, whose components are copies of the complex plane mod out by the 2 pi i times z, so just like uh, annular strips, with finitely many nodes. So the idea is we'll open up the nodes to create the surfaces, uh, be basically a kind of these annular um, pieces connected by tiny catenoid necks. So we derive the balance equations for the location of the nodes, and then exhibit solutions that allow for surfaces of arbitrarily large genus and number of ends in the quotient. So the outline of what I'll be going through, we'll go through some background information for W periodic minimal surfaces, uh, discuss our results, the, the Trezé regeneration technique and how we use it, give a sketch of the proof, and then examine some other um, possible limits and how uh, we might use the Trezé regeneration technique to uh, prove the existence of some surfaces near some other types of limits as an end-to-end -end construction. So kind of the main result um, is uh, that for any genus G greater than or equal to 1 and any even number, capital N, greater than or equal to 2, there are three-dimensional families of complete embedded doubly periodic minimal surfaces in Euclidean space of genus G and the N top and N bottom ends in the quotient. So here's one example of a genus 7 surface we prove the existence of. And so the the, the main theorem that we use to, to uh, prove this theorem that we got get these surfaces is this result. We take some set of points P sub K comma I. If it, this set is what is called a non-degenerate balance configuration, then we know there will exist a corresponding three-dimensional family of embedded doubly product minimal surfaces that limits as a foliation of R3 by the parallel planes. So those um, the location of these points, the P sub Ki, they will correspond to the location of the catenoid necks between the annular strips um, on our surface. So that gives you an idea of what I'll be talking about in my presentation. I hope you will enjoy my talk.